Morning people and welcome to a vlog. Uh, this is a little special one uh, because we're going to Italia. Um, but I might end up just turning it into one big vlog and then ultimately changing the upload date which ultimately might make my life easier to keep the vlog going. Because uh, I've been trying to bring it back for a couple of weeks now and life has changed a little bit. Obviously we don't base ourselves primarily here in Zakachan so much anymore. The kids have got their own little slot on the channel. Mrs. Barry comes along uh, uh, very often. Hello, Mrs. B. Hello. All right. Sorry, just it's all right. Up breakfast. You okay? <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, so, Mrs. Barry this weekend is going to see some friends do some crazy shopping, right? We're going shopping in Bath. <laughs> yeah. Delighted. Bath is very posh. Very so, I'm, t I'm keeping the joint bank account card here. Uh, wow. The kids are going, the grandparents are going to have a crazy weekend, right? Oh, well, look how crazy they excited they look. <laughs> You alright? This is great. Are you alright? Yeah. She's got a head in a book. She's got a head in a book. She's, She's the bookworm today. Yeah. Chloe is, uh, well, she was full of energy a minute ago, but I think they've settled down into TV. Hello. Hello. Seven for five? Mm -hmm. Right. You're not going to see much of these guys on a vlog, so you need to be like, hello. Hello. If you want to say anything, say it now. I love you. Oh, I love you too. You love them? I love you. Oh, daddy kiss. Thanks. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at. I'm going to Italy uh, for work, really. There is going to be a bit of spare time uh, to, to probably explore a little bit. Uh, and then ah. you're going to have some fun. Uh, Mummy's going to have some fun. So it's, it's a bit of a, a weird one. I have two wobbly teeth. Wobbly tooth. Look at that. Ooh. Nice. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, I really want to keep the vlog going. Uh, I mean, I never, there was never the intention to sort of stop it, but at the moment, some of the work uh, life balance that I get, I'm just like so tired. I'm working so much, um, just trying to make so much content. Um, no. Hello. You okay? Hello, Amy. Uh, Boston is probably up the stairs somewhere, so I've got to pack because I'm a bloke. I've got my passport. That's it. In fact, Mrs. Barry found my passport. You can probably see Boston right at the top of the stairs. Boston! It's all dark. Boston! Hello, boy! You just look like a little black ball of fluff. Um, but so I, I really, really, really have to pack. And then uh, Rob, uh, the camera bloke, is going to be helping us uh, film this weekend. So we'll probably just capture a little bit of around Milan, really. And, or what's it like? Lake Garda. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Lake Garda. So I was just thinking about. Out loud, I nearly call it Lady Gaga every time I say it. That's gonna look really good, isn't it? If I'm doing my uh, video with a cheese company, be like, hello, uh, yeah, Lady, Lady Gaga, yes, yes. Taking the dogs out for a little stroll. So, actually, for the middle of November, it's surprisingly mild still. A little nippy every now and then in the mornings, but it's been alright so far. These guys don't mind it. And I've had a cold for the last few days. And uh, I felt so rough, like I didn't want to go to this trip to Italy. And right now, I, I've come out in the fresh air thinking, oh, that'll help. But right, no. Nah. I'm just thinking, I just want to go in bed. I want to eat oranges and lemons. Well, not eat lemons, drink lemon medicine. And everything will be alright, but... <sighs> man up. Man up. I am genuinely convinced, though, that men do get it worse than women. Like man flu and all that. I don't get it all that often anywhere near as much as I used to, but... Uh, I think someone said it was scientifically proven as well. Miss Bye, Mummy. Hey, you normally say goodbye to me at the train station. Well, yeah, this is strange. It's weird, right? Are you okay, Chloe? I'm scared. Oh, no, you're hurting, Mummy. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Put all your weight on her. All right, have a nice time, Mrs. Barry. Bye. Bye. All right, kids are being dropped off now. Bye. God, you, when did you get so old? Look at you. Like a pair of old women now. No. <laughs> I remember when they were just babies. Right, dropping them off and then I better pack. Alright, so I am now in the bizarre situation where I'm kid and wife free. Uh, in a good way though. <laughs> uh, to the point where, yes, I should probably now get ready. Uh, I'm catching a bus. It's only actually 25 past 9. But I'm catching a bus at... Well, I need to be at the airport at 1. And there's a bus that I've always seen. It's like so cheap. To try and park in the airport here is horrendous. Um, and I haven't actually asked anyone for a lift, so, but I've seen a bus called the Airport Flyer and I haven't, you don't book a ticket, you just literally get on it. Uh, and I, I'm just going to like go for broke and wait for this bus stop at midday and see if it turns up. 
If not, I'll make an emergency call to my mum or something and see if we get there. But for the moment, a little bit of Amy loving right there. Give us some cuddles, get packed, try and get this cold out of my system. And then we're Viva Italia, baby. I'm gonna pack my Super Mario costume. I should really get ready. I spent basically the last half an hour doing nothing but dancing to music because I'm home alone. Did a really stupid Snapchat as well. I've made it to the airport folks and I'm gonna go meet Rob now. It's wet and windy and I'm sure Italy isn't probably too much sunnier but here we go. Let's go to Italy. Got a little bit of uh, video watching. Rob's just arrived. We've got a little bit of time till our flight. Flight goes about four o'clock. Haven't even got to check in for another half an hour which is actually right over there. And we've never seen an airport so quiet. In the wild, the rare Rob researches Italy yeah. on his phone. All right, Rob? Hello there, Barry. How you doing? Ciao bella. Ciao bella. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna, we're gonna, the vocabulary's gonna improve, I promise you. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, I'm just looking at, basically, let's have a look. Milan is over here. Where are you, Milan? Oh, I'm gonna have to zoom out. And again, all right. So Milan is around here, somewhere. Milan is there. And then we're going here as well. We've got to get a train from there. And if we go right into this bit, this little lakey thing here, Sermione. Sermione, that's where we're going. This is Lake Garda, not Lake Lady Gaga, Lake Garda. And that's where we're off to, folks. So we were one of the first people to actually uh, be sat here. And now we're uh, at the back. <laughs> It's all good there, right? We just had the craziest check-in, so we're having a beer before our flight, right? Yeah, just to take the edge off. <laughs> we very nearly didn't get on the plane, like, for a variety of reasons. There. Well, there's no aeroplanes, but this is the runway, folks. There's a van, so that's close to a plane, right? Uh, this thing. They're freshening. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Authentic Italian food. but I like it. Uh, this is Italy. There you go. We're on a, we're on a bus. Where are we? Bonjour, no? Hello. <laughs> it's so bright out there that it won't uh, show your face too well, but yeah, my hearing has bus. gone. What's that? We're on a busy bus. We're on, yeah, this is heaving. Uh, five euros though, because the Uber was 60. Taxi driver wanted 120. But uh, we've got it's an hour coach into central Milan where we're staying tonight. Uh, so yeah, my ears are popped. This right one, I can't hear a thing. This one's fine though. So here we are in Milan. Just got off a coach. Rob ended up sitting next to some complete random person. But we've gone all this way and we're still in Bristol. Right in the background. So we're gonna try and get a cab to the hotel because it's a bit of a trek and then we might go get some dinner. I think my wife would like that, even if it's that for a bloke. Huh? It's a woman's store, yeah. <laughs> it's a women's leather jacket. You know you're in a good hotel when you've got a is that a faux red carpet? They've laid it out for us. That's not something oh, I'd like to make, make. Look at the gym, I mean. Oh, 
It's like a red welcome mat, that is. Oh, it's hot in here. 506. Oh, it must be that way. Oh, cinnamon, though. Mm. It's like musk. I like the decor. Something from like Buck Rogers or something. Control pad. How, how do you use it? What this? Oh, it's actually just a key. What am I worried about? Yeah. Look at eighties earring. Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, it's uh, a boudoir. Yeah, yeah. I can see green. I can see wood. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, it's like a house. This has I got sleeping at that. Oh, it's cosy. Oh, look at this. It's quaint. It's cosy. Oh, that, yeah. Nice. Right, let's get unpacked and then get some food. Yeah. You know your hotel room is good when you've got a set of scales in it. And also, we've just seen the most awesome phone ever. Check this out. Hey, Batman. What and was that, this? Yeah. I mean, you can speak to NASA on that. It's like a synthesizer. Ground control to Major Tom. Wow. And is it a room with a view? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've got shiny Converse. Don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> it's still going. Will it stop? Uh, it's just an arm switch, isn't it? Yeah. Holy right, foley smokes. What's it called? Um, this is the uh, big cathedral. Domeo. 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 <laughs> Domeo? Wow, that is massive. That is awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Diomo. How? It's so quiet. Diomo? Diomo. Yeah, Duomo. Yeah, Duomo. Wow. That's amazing. On another note, I just found some of my dog poo bags in my pocket for walking the dogs. So they're kind of here in spirit, the pugs. Wow. What's this? Oh. That's kind of bring the contrast down to make that look a little bit more respectable. It's weird, it still feels like I'm in Bristol. shouting even though my ears still popped from the flight <laughs> that looks like the Death Star from Star Wars my limited knowledge of Star Wars ah. good morning everyone this room is the hottest room I've ever 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 stayed in um, oh my gosh I just walked to the window and uh, I think the whole of Italy is in living in all those blocks there, everyone could see me. Uh, Rob left about 10 minutes ago to go and uh, try and get a shot of the sun rising, but I think the sun was already up if I'm honest, so might, he might just get some cool shots anyway. Uh, I've just been researching uh, how we get from here, Milan, to uh, where we need to go tonight near Lake Garda uh, for our visit to the cheese factory tomorrow. Uh, but the plan today is to just basically go around Milan and eat lots of foodie things, which is kind of cool. But we're trying to capture that on another video. So hopefully I'll try and do a teeny bit on here. Um, I'm also trying to put videos up as well on the phone, uh, you know, uh, what I normally put up back home. So uh, yeah, it's busy, but um, my ear has still not popped and I feel, I feel drunk. I feel really like, Ugh. so I have a shower, freshen up, all that stuff. And uh, 
I think I'm gonna try and get a big strong Italian coffee, some pizza and gelato and stuff. So hopefully I'll try and capture a little bit. Uh, um, yeah, this room is insanely hot. It's, there's just no air movement at all. It's great, like that window is wide open. I could, I could jump out of that window, but there's still no air coming in. It's crazy. It is an impressive building. We're back again, wandering past it. It actually feels like we're in Italy now. This does feel like Italy, rather than a dark night out somewhere. Bellissimo. Bob's got a pistachio. Pass on. That's <laughs> good, man. Here we go. I've just sort of devoured my chocolate one, and sort of ripped it in half for the other camera. Oh, just the, oh, just the feel. You know, like just light, flaky. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Off. yeah. Okay. Good. UK when they're like squashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, almost like soggy and bashed in. Yeah, yeah. Flaky. This latte was good as well, even though it looks a bit like a Guinness. Filming Rob, filming this, filming this, whatever that is. Now this is what we were in last night. I feel very touristy. Now this is exactly the sort of floor that I want to get at home, in the house, you know, that sort of rustic tile. You know, it's quite cheap. I'm sure this isn't too shabby. I want to get one of those. Well, I don't even know what that's called. Tri tricycle? That's like a rickshaw, like, turned up to 11. We have been to other places other than just here, haven't we? We, 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 we have actually <laughs> gone around there. Much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, welcome to Milan. It's basically just a big cathedral. We are going to see other stuff, I promise, guys. But maybe we'll save that for this camera. Coming to this epic place called Peck. It's like, it's supposed to just serve coffee, but it turns out it's a massive supermarket with, like, the freshest ravioli I've ever seen and gnocchi and stuff. Rob's in his element here. We found some more retro uh, recipes or recipe rewind options right there. Uh, hopefully going to get a coffee in a minute. This place is amazing. It's like a supermarket turned up to 11 with like food everywhere. It's just gorgeous. So uh, yeah, camera's having a rest. You capture some good stuff, right Rob? Uh, in here is incredible. Oh, yeah. So colourful. About to nail this espresso, and this is soda water, which I already had half of it. Here we go. Let's do this. Just nailed the espresso, some of the soda water, and the complimentary chocolate, which was extremely dark. Uh, now I feel so full of energy. How did you find that, Rob? Right? Oh, smooth. Huh? Yeah, you like espresso, yeah. right? Proper smooth, like rich. Mm. Lovely. Yeah. The bubbles from my soda water. The little jacuzzi. That actually was so strong. <laughs> I can't believe I nailed that. I don't normally do espresso, but um, I am going to be high on life for the rest of the day. Oh, that's good. Uh, there's awesome gelato over there. That Rob just captured, right? Oh, it looks, looks amazing. It's like mountains of like puffy coloured clouds. Yeah. <laughs> looks insane. Um, but I've just seen there's one that we want to try and find. We might not get to it. Gelato di Nanina, and that they do some sort of savoury ones as well. Apparently, it might not happen. If that if that doesn't happen, then we'll just come back to here. So we're heading to a castle thing, and that could be it in the distance to the left, like some sort of big forty thing. I don't know. We're just doing it. Just doing the Milan thing, baby. Wow. Is this the castle? It must be, yeah. It's a pretty big castle. This really makes you want to have a wee. Wow. Just walked through the uh, castle entrance. Alright, into the, I guess the courtyard? I feel like I should put on a jester outfit. This is the other side of it. Nice little sax man on the go. That's a big old castle. And then I think we're near some park, and over there is like a big looking Champ de Lisse thing. It seems to be one of those in like every city. You can about see the edge of it. There it is. Look at that. I like this place. I need to come back here with Mrs. Barry. 
I like the sax, man. It makes you feel like I'm watching like the rolling credits to like some sort of like 90s or 80s American sitcom. Hey, it's Rob. <laughs> and then you do like the freeze frame. <laughs> and then there's like someone sat on the bench like doing like, I don't know, chucking the leaves in the air. Janet. It's just a really lovely scene. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it does look a bit like the chimney from the first Charlie and the Chocolate film. Maybe. If you see uh, Gene Wilder shoot out of there in an elevator, then you know it is. Now this little alleyway suddenly feels really Italian. I don't know why I had to show you this, but all of a sudden I now feel like I'm in Italy. I'm not in Western. I've come all the way here and I've still found Amy. Amazing. Nice. Nice look, Amy. Strong, strong. Uh, we've gone sort of off the track a little bit, but I'm actually liking this even more so because we just don't know what we're going to find. I really hope we're going to find like an Italian lady at a table making pasta or something. Oh, that's made me feel welcome. So we've just come all the way, a good 35 minute walk to this Latte Neve place. It's supposed to be one of the best gelato in Milan and it's shut, but we just heard a fridge go on. It's not sure if it opens in an hour, maybe. Uh, I can see a light. I can see a light on in the back. If not, we'll just go get any any gelato, right? Yeah, yeah. it's plenty. Yeah. We've come to the conclusion that we think, if we wait here in a minute, that this might open. Come on. Success. If you want to try anything else, just ask yeah. and I will make you try it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Just about six spoons of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were told to come... Yeah? Yeah. We were told to come here because it's one of the best in Milan, right? <laughs> this is hands down the best ice cream I have ever, ever, ever had in my life. Right, it is so smooth. Chili, chocolate, salt, pepper, pistachio. It is beautiful. I'm getting emotional. We've come down to the canal. This is, uh, I'm still actually overwhelmed by the gelato. That was the smoothest tasting thing I've ever had in my life. It's very quaint, Rob. Oh, in the middle of a sneeze. You got a hay fever? Sneeze? So, it's the sun, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> let it go. <laughs> if, I, if I touch your nose, that's what Becky does to me, it stops it. It's, it really annoys her though, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's taking it too far. But, there we go. Wild Lake. It's like some funky courtyard. Back here again, <laughs> hunting for pizza. <laughs> it's our favourite spot, right? Yeah. Back hunting for pizza. Where's the pizzas? Pizza. Oh, I don't know. The last stop, food-wise, in Milan. Pizza. Apparently, this does one of the best ones in Milan online. So, we can have a little look at this bad boy. All right, so we're sharing a pizza, pepperoni. <laughs> Very romantic, Rob. Really, where's the candles, mate? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's chili oil, actually. <laughs> we should like, yeah, yeah. Chili oil, uh, olives, pepperoni on the pizza. It's actually really nice. Look at this. Wow, this is Sermione. 
This is our hotel. Yeah. The whole thing. That's the hotel, yeah. <laughs> well, our hotel's there, right? Yeah. We've just got, uh, the car could only go up to there. So we've got to actually go through the bridge thing. Or swim. Yeah. So swim. We're actually like, right by this sort of sea in Lake Garda, well, Lake Garda, right? Right by the lake, man. Wow. It looks beautiful. This is insane. This is, uh, this is one of the places, I've traveled a lot, but this is on the list of probably in the top five places I really wanted to come and see. Awesome. So there's a thermal little pool thing. I haven't got my GoPro, got five minutes to go in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We went for a swim. It was good, really, really hot pool. The guy let us kind of go in there. He said we weren't really supposed to be, but uh, they were shutting. Uh, but that really helped just kind of like, it's been a bit of a full on day. We've done like 20,000 steps around the city. So uh, nice and chilled. I'm gonna get a bite to eat and we've got a busy day tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll capture tomorrow, but uh, yeah. I bet this place is heaving in the in the summer. in the summer, yeah. yeah. All these bars. So I think we're actually walking towards a pier. Actually, I can see through the camera lens. It's got quite a good contrast on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you've got better eyesight through that than uh, my eyes. That's crazy, right? Look at that. Literally out onto Lake Garden now. Wow. This is amazing. It feels really weird, but like we're walking down a cobbled street in England or something, but. There's yeah, something really cool about this place. Yeah, it's dead tonight. Might be livelier tomorrow, I say. Just about to go in the pizzeria for some pasta. The scary thing is, like, it's really cool here now, but we don't even know what it's gonna look like in the morning when the, the castle's all kind of like lit up with the sun and the, the lake will be blue. Should be good. Yeah, this is making me want to have a wee. That was a nice meal. We just, a, just had a really nice meal in there. Nice I had like sea bass ravioli and you had like tomato -y, pasta y stuff. Salmon, tomato, <clears throat> uh, macaroni. And the light was so bad. Yeah, it was a bit uh, like you were a lizard. It was, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've been on a sunbed. But, it was nice, right. it was cosy, man. Yeah. We've got to call it. My favourite meal. Yeah, it was, it was good. The, the pasta was delicate. Of the 24 hours. I want to get in that golf cart. Good morning. I'm up early. Uh, it's like 6 o'clock, so. Can't still tell, the sun's just coming up. Um, can't really tell how blue it is out there, the water, so. I'm not gonna have time for that really, I've gotta to go to the cheese factory, go get some breakfast in the hotel. So today I might not capture too much. I slept really badly. It looks like a nice bed, doesn't it? But I just like, there. Eh. It's a massive spread for breakfast. We were the only ones in here. I've got chocolate croissant fish finger and a chocolate Genoa cake thing. The perfect combination. I can see the lake in the distance though. Just about. How beautiful does that look? Well, it does look good to me. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll have to try and catch some of that later. Look at the uh, <laughs> sun on the castle. Wow. This is gorgeous. Wow. That's awesome. It's a little behind the scenes, but Rob's capturing loads. There is cheese everywhere. It smells lovely in here. This is the Grana Padano being made. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is a different smell again. Yeah. We've just been up in that lift thing, but I couldn't get my camera out in time, but I got it on my Snapchat and Instagram. The massive walls of cheese. Just stopped off at a little village on the way back. It's a really beautiful day. We're back uh, from our cheesy experience, which sounds very wrong, but it was actually amazing. And this is what Lake Cardo looks like during the day. Look at that. Although we haven't got much of the day left, the sun is starting to set. We're gonna go out and about and do a little bit of voiceover. And uh, actually just, maybe just chill for a little bit. So that's nice. A beautiful day though. Look at that. How clear that water is, it's crazy. You can see all those fishies. 
I were a keen fisherman, I'd be in my hobby element right now. Right, really bad news is I've just dropped this vlog camera after that last scene when I was um, filming the fish and the actual screen that I'm using right now is shattered. But it's still working. I'm going to have to get a new vlog camera. That's my commitment to you guys, all right? Look at these mountains, though. Oh, the zoom is still working. That's good. Look at that. This is so nice. Very tranquil. We just went for a really stonking Italian and uh, well, I thought it was a real person then. Actually a mannequin. <laughs> uh, if you actually want to see that, that's one of the other bonus videos we've done, right Rob? Indeed. It's been a bit of a food coma-esque day. Kind of didn't show much of it on camera, right? A lot of food. Yeah. A lot of food today. But it's, uh, it's been a good laugh. Yeah. I'm ready to sleep though. Beach deers. Well, we thought we'd end the night with a cheeky little drink and on the uh, sort of the deck of the hotel, I guess. Yeah, Rob's got a whiskey. Lafoig. Yeah, that's like Lafoig. 10 euros, mm. which is reasonable, right? And I ordered the round. And I was like, oh, why, why is it so expensive? It came to 27 euros for like a whiskey and a rum and coke. And that's because the shot of rum that I got was quite a, was it like an age old? 24 year old <laughs> rum. No, I didn't even know it. I, no, I didn't even know it. It's <laughs> like when he asked me, do I want it? I said, yeah, yeah, right. And he sort of raised his eyebrows and yeah, yeah. You're going to have a good night. I'm like, okay. So I've um, had a little sip on it. And that is an expensive mistake right there. Morning. Uh, I've woken up with a really sore throat. <laughs> right. And I've been speaking to Mrs. Barry in the night. <clears throat> and she's not been well. Uh, Rob went up to get sunrise this morning. I didn't really sleep too well because talking to Mrs. Barry. But let me try and show you the screen. Can you see the crack? Can you see it? You might not be able to see it. But anyhow, I'm going now for breakfast. Lots of travelling today to get back to the airport. So that's pretty much it. I can't wait to get home and see the family. Right, so we were going to do a podcast Oop. in our room, but uh, we suddenly started to go, yeah, let's do a podcast, have a coffee, take our time, right, Rob? Yeah. And it's like, oh, <laughs> we need to get to the airport. And we suddenly looked at that and we like, we need to be there like quite soon. It's quite a, quite a, quite a trip, isn't it? Bit of a mission. Yeah. So uh, say. we've got a taxi on the way. We're going to probably miss the train we need to get. So it means we have to go back to Milan to get a train on a, a bus back to the airport, they're kind of like the same way here, so I'll be alright. It'll be fine. Alright, we made it to the train station. So life is good. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to be stuck on transport. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right. I'm trying to play table football against Rob, and this is not going to work. I'm trying oh. to video at the same time. Getting on the plane. We want to come in to land. Right and locked position. Armrests down and window blinds open. Yeah, it's good to be home. Give me five. All right, give me five. I'm home. Yay! Right, um, the end of the video might be a little bit weird because you saw the kids and stuff, but well, there was one person that wasn't feeling quite well. So fast forward a couple of days and here we are. Are you all right? Hello. Mrs. Hello. Barry, she's been a bit poorly while I've been away in um, romantic Italy. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Um. But we are matching. Oh yeah. We are matching. matching. Yeah, yeah. Why is the yeah. screen funny? Yeah. I dropped it on Italy. In Italy. <laughs> oh it, yeah, but it could have fell in a moat in the castle. That would have been oh, even worse. No. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so there we go. I hope you really enjoyed the Italia trip. 
I'm going to be going with this one very, very soon. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I was going to vlog, like literally, uh, well, I'm going to edit this and it'll go up. And I was going to start vlogging again, but the camera needs to be repaired. To be fair, it does need a little bit of TLC. The screen doesn't shot on it. Sometimes I told you about that. The screen's now broke. And mm -hmm. also the actual thing on the back, the screen is, is wobbly. <laughs> So, um, it's, yeah. It's a well used Hi. vlog camera. It is well used. And I've realised after I dropped it that you can actually get a cover for it, which is great. And a screen protector. And a nice case to put it in. Yeah, all that stuff yeah. for only £4. So, hope you enjoyed the trip. Bye, mate. And I've got a smiggle. Oh, you've got a smiggle. And a book. Phoebe's got one. Yes. See you later. <laughs>